Now we shall discuss about no load current of electrical transformer. We know that in ideal transformer there are no core losses. But in practical transformer there are hysteresis and eddy current losses in transformer core. Let us first consider a transformer on no load and having no winding resistance and no leakage reactants. That means we will consider one electrical transformer with only core losses but no copper loss and no leakage reactants. When an alternating source is applied in the primary, the source will supply the current for magnetizing the core. But this current is not the actual magnetizing current but little bit greater than actual magnetizing current. Actually total electric current supplied from the source has two components. One is magnetizing current which is merely utilized for magnetizing the core and other component of the source current is consumed for compensating the core losses in transformer. Because of this core loss component, the source current in transformer on no load condition is not exactly at 90 degrees lag of supply voltage, but it lags behind an angle less than 90 degrees. If total current supplied from source is I0, then it will have one component in phase with supply voltage V1 and this component of the current IW is core loss component. This component is taken in phase with source voltage because it is associated with active or working losses in transformer. Other component of the source current is denoted as I mu. This component produces the alternating magnetic flux in the core so it is wattless means it is reactive part of the transformer source current. Hence I mu will be in quadrature with V1 and in phase with alternating flux phi. Hence, total primary current in transformer on no load condition can be represented as vector sum of I mu and I w. And I mu equal to I0 cos theta, I w equal to I0 sin theta. Thank you.